In 2015, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission released its 94 Calls to Action. One of the focuses was on Indigenous language preservation. Because of residential schools and other factors, many of these dialects are rapidly disappearing. For example, only 1,300 people remain in Canada whose mother tongue is the language of Dakota. As for the Métis language of Michif, it's only 750. But some communities are working hard to reverse this trend. At the Sturgeon Lake First Nation near Prince Albert, teachers, elders and others are slowly bringing back the language. They're working with the community on a plan. And that includes outdoor education and an eventual Cree immersion program at the school. People are excited to have, you know, their kids speaking Cree um, after school. I'm starting a program, a couple of other teachers are starting programs. So it's, it's just a little baby steps. So why would the ice break? Sonia Ermine is another teacher at Sturgeon Lake. She returned to her home community a few years ago to teach the grade one students, but she also came home to learn her language. Now they all learn together. I love to learn and I, and I love my language and I love listening to it because when I hear other people talking in the Cree language and they are laughing and laughing and I think, I wonder what they're saying, but it must be funny. So to me, I, 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 I love that sense of humor that we have in the language. Ermine, Custer and others hope the federal government will soon follow through on the promised support. Until then, they'll do the best they can with what they have and hope to serve as a role model for other communities. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.